Welcome back to my video series where I teach you how to fly an FPV freestyle racing acro drone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to fly it. This video is one in a series. So if it feels like you've dropped in in the middle of a conversation, that's why there is a link in the video description below to the full playlist for the whole series. And if you're looking to learn from be the beginning, that's where you should start. But if you're here for the topic of today's video, then Let's get into it. So far, we have learned how to take off, climb to an altitude, and begin moving forward. But there is a key thing we have not learned, which is how to stop or slow down. That's what we're going to do in this video. So we will raise throttle. We will climb to altitude, climb to about the treetops, which is what we've been doing. We will pitch forward slightly and begin moving forward and continue to adjust throttle to maintain that same altitude. And then we will pitch back to flatten out. And what you'll see is that the quad will kind of drift to a stop. In fact, it may begin drifting backwards. That's okay, don't worry about that too much. In real life, that would be annoying, but in the simulator, it's not that big a deal. We can just hit reset. What I'm gonna try to do is, let's just try to fly towards the trees. And what we'll try to do is we'll try to pitch back and slow down and try to just kind of creep up to these trees. Oh, I've come to a stop. I'm beginning to drift. That's okay, don't sweat that. We'll just hit reset and try again. Now, a lot of people think about the uh, throttle as the sort of accelerator pedal for the quad. They think about the throttle as the go fast button. But as you can see, I'm raising and lowering the throttle and it is not making me go any faster. It's just making me go higher. Now, it is true that when you're going fast, you will be at a higher throttle position. So there's some truth to that. But for a lot of kinds of flying, it's better to think of the pitch stick as being the go fast or go slow button. Because when I pitch forward a little bit, I will begin to move forward slowly. And if I pitch forward a lot, I will move forward quicker, 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 faster. And the reason for that is, as we said in the previous video, that we are redirecting the thrust vector of the quad by rotating the quad. And the more I pitch forward, the more of my thrust is pushing me forward and the less of my thrust is pushing me downward. And so therefore the faster I will go. So uh, it stands to reason then that if I am going forward faster than I want and I want to stop, the correct behavior is to level out again and slow down. One difference between a quadcopter and like an automobile is that quadcopters don't have brakes. When I level out, the quad just flattens out. In fact, let's go ahead and look at the quad in third person view again. If I take off, okay, and I begin moving forward and then I level out again, do you see that I just keep sort of drifting, right? Air resistance will slow me down eventually, but I will just kind of keep coasting until air resistance slows me down. So leveling out the quad or pitching back does slow you down, but not as abruptly as if you had like some actual brakes. So I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna pitch forward just a little bit. I'm gonna begin to move forward, continue to adjust your altitude with the throttle. And then I'm gonna pitch back to slow down. And we see the quad slow down. I can raise throttle to fly above these trees. I can lower throttle to come back down again. If I begin to slow down too much, do you see like I'm not moving forward at all now? I can pitch forward just a little bit more to begin moving forward again. If I'm moving faster than I want to be moving, I'm going to pitch back and level out. And I'll, the whole time I'm going to be adjusting throttle to maintain my altitude. Take off, pitch forward, maintain altitude flatten out and you'll slow down. Flatten out more and you'll continue to slow down. Continue to pitch back and eventually you'll start moving backwards. And we really don't want that. Like, unless you just have a sixth sense where you can just tell where things are, you don't want to move backward because you'll just crash into something that you didn't see coming. Like very experienced pilots could do a move where we fly over these trees and then come backwards through them. 
And it's super cool for freestyle pilots to do that. And maybe you'll get there someday. But in general, especially as a beginner, and especially in real life, you don't want to be drifting backwards because who knows what you are about to crash into. Keep working that drill. Keep practicing, speeding up and slowing down by adjusting pitch forward and pitch back. We can slow down. If we slow down too much and start to come to a stop and drift backward, we can pitch forward a little bit and that will start us moving forward. We can pitch back and try to come, maybe, maybe even try to come to a stop at these trees. I would recommend that you don't try to come to a complete stop. Like I can hover in front of this tree and just stop there. But hovering is actually way harder than it seems. Like what could be hard about hovering? You're not moving, right? But actually on something as dynamic as a multi-rotor, standing still is like the hardest thing to do. So I would recommend that you always be moving slightly forward. So here I'm moving forward kind of quickly and I'm gonna pitch back just a little bit to slow myself down. Now I'm slowing down. That seems good. Maybe I'm slowing down a little too much, so I'll pitch forward just a little bit. Just the tiniest inputs. Look how small the inputs I'm making are. Try to make the same inputs. Very small movements of the stick. Very small movements of the stick. We can just adjust our speed by slightly pitching forward and slightly pitching back, continuing to adjust the throttle to maintain altitude until we uh, run off the end of the level. <laughs> Okay, I want you to keep working that exercise until you start to get comfortable adjusting your speed and adjusting your altitude at the same time. We haven't even gotten to turning yet, and already I'm asking you to kind of walk and chew gum. Wait until we get the yaw and the roll axis involved. You're going to be walking, chewing gum, juggling, and uh, I don't know what the fourth thing is. You're going to do it all at once, but we're going to build on that by adding one thing at a time as we go. As always, there is a link in the video description below to a playlist with all of the videos in this series in it as well. I'll put a card on screen. If you're on a platform that shows cards, it'll be an easy way for you to get to that playlist. I will see you in the next one.